I'm talking about right there. Oh, hello everyone. Do you like wings? Man, I do. Air fryer wings, right in a Blackstone grill. We made these just a little while ago. It took about 30 minutes total. No sauce needed, no buffalo sauce. Don't need any of that. It's all dry rub and oh, so good. Mm. Mm. That's amazing right there. I wonder how we made them? I'll tell you what you do. Hang on. We'll back up 30 minutes ago, show you how we make these. Oh, God, they're so good. The best wings that you've ever ate in your life. We're going to show you how to make them right on the Blackstone Grill. Hang on. We'll be right back. First thing we want to do is thoroughly wash our wings, size them up, and put them out, and we want to dry them. We take a paper towel and just just dab it until we get them as dry as we possibly can. And if you want to go all the way to get a hair dryer and dry them, that's up to you. We want to get them as dry as we possibly can before we start making our dry rub. And for a dry rub, we want to get a good wide bowl with easy access, easy to get in and out. And we're going to start putting our ingredients in. Now for our dry rub, we're, we don't really have exact measurements, so we're just going to wing it. Uh, we're going to wing it for our wings. Okay, that sounds right. So first thing we want to do, we're going to take some cornstarch. About two teaspoons of cornstarch. Baking powder. I'm going to put two teaspoons of baking powder. Now the reason we're using cornstarch and baking powder is it's going to dry our wings out. It's going to make everything stick together. The baking powder has baking sodas. It's just going to make the skin crispy. If you're anything like me, I like my wings, the skin, to be crispy. There's nothing worse than eating a wing with old soggy, chewy skin on it. And I don't like that at all. We're going to add a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then add... Another teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're going to add some wild jalapeno. Can anybody say yum yum? I'm going to go two teaspoons of it. Then we're going to add some garlic powder. Oh, it smells good. And we're going to open up the sinuses. We're going to add a couple teaspoons of it. Okay, now we're going to add some some Blackstone Parmesan Ranch seasoning. We'll add a couple of heaping helping three and even four teaspoons of that. We're not finished. Hang on. Now we're going to add a teaspoon of chili powder. Mixed in together. Next, we're going to add some seasoning salt. Now, we're going to use some special blend cheese, seasoning salt. A couple of teaspoons. And now, guess what we're going to do? Let's mix it all together. Let's toss this all in together here and let's see what it looks like. Make a good little blend. good taste is going to be amazing just a good crispy wing with just the right seasoning you won't need any kind of sauce or anything just a really good wing last time we made these we had some really good buffalo sauce to go on them and we didn't even use it because it was so much just so good without it and so much better without it okay okay now we got our blackstone air fryer ready the pans 
I'm going to take these, we're just going to toss them around, make sure it gets covered really good. Place them in here. And you got your baking soda and your cornstarch, of course, going to make these crisp up. And we just bought just the cheap wings, the cheapest wings we could find at the local grocery store. Get these all tossed in good. Give them a little space in the air fryer. And you'd be surprised how fast these things cook. Much, cook. much quicker in the air fryer than what they do in the oven. Just the right amount of spices. So we're gonna put these on the air fryer and we're gonna watch them for a few minutes and see what happens. Okay, it's been 10 minutes, we're outside, and we're gonna take the wings out of the air fryer and we're gonna check them. So they're looking like wings now. So we're gonna get them all turned over. And like I said, we really like our wings crispy. We don't like them half done. We want them. To, we want a little crunch. Get all these turned over. Put these back in. About at least five more minutes. Get number two out. See that dry rub is no longer dry. See that? Get these all turned over. I say well I, when I know they're done. You'll know when they're done. The crispy skin on them. And we're going to bring a uh, thermometer out here. We're going to check them. We want it to be about 160 degrees. That's, at least that's what I like. Uh, you can set them the way that you feel more comfortable with. And about five minutes, we'll be back. All right, five minutes is up. Let's try these things again. Now, the difference this time, we're going to take a little simple thermometer. And we'll put it down in to the meat part. Up to 100. 120. 130. We're up to 140, I think that is. So we'll go, we're going to flip them just a little bit. And we'll go back in for just a few minutes. Now we're checking again. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we are at exactly 160 degrees. So we're going to take these things off, put them inside, try them out, and see what they taste like. And see how easy that was? I guarantee you these will be the best wings you've ever ate. Trust me, I am a wing connoisseur. I've tried wings about everywhere. Buffalo Wild Wings, Applebee's, um, McAdoo's. I've tried them all. I've never ate a wing as good as these. Try uh, Adjust the spices to suit you the way you want them. And I guarantee you, you're going to love these things. Mm. Good and crispy. Fried just the way we like them. No pink inside, just good, done, amazing chicken wings. I'll tell you what you do. Try these. If you like them, share this with your friends. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube. We appreciate you all. Remember us. Sorry, these are so good. It's hard to stop eating long enough to talk to you. But if you would, follow us on YouTube. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and hopefully we'll see you next week 
Muncie Mountain, Cooking with the Word, Chicken Wings, the best you'll ever try. We guarantee it. We'll see you next week.